Welcome to another episode of Gospel Impact. My name is Kristen Sanders, and today's story comes to us from India. As Jonathan entered the Hindu village of Anamelia, he obtained permission from the village elders to hold some meetings for 15 nights. The elders showed him an open area where he could hold his meetings. The people spread out their mats on the ground, expectantly to hear something besides the usual town gossip. Surprisingly, over 300 people gathered there the first night, and the attendance never dropped. Jonathan thought the meetings were sure to be a great success. But then, something strange happened. On the 13th evening, the topic was drawn from Psalms 115 verses 5 through 8, which talked about idols. Jonathan read the passage to them. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them. So is every one that trusteth in them. For the first half of the meeting, the listeners were attentive, and Jonathan was encouraged. He continued confidently until suddenly he noticed a few of the listeners filing out one by one. More of them started leaving until finally the whole audience had melted away. Had he offended them? Why did they just all disappear? The next evening he thought about continuing where he had left off, but perhaps that would not be wise if he had offended them. He was wondering if he should change the subject. And then he noticed as the people gathered that the men were all holding big knives, iron bars and pieces of heavy chain behind their backs. For sure he thought he should change the subject. Perhaps he should preach about the fifth commandment, thou shalt not kill. As he began on a new topic, one of the men with the gleaming knife stood up and asked, why are you changing the topic? You are telling us about idols. Keep preaching. Scared as he was, thinking they were trying to head him, lead him into a trap and kill him, he cautiously continued his sermon about idols. His fear was visible on his face and in his voice. Then another man stood and said, Don't be afraid. Keep on telling us about idols. But as he glanced at all those knives, iron bars, and big chains behind the men's backs, it was hard for him to denounce the images that the people had trusted for generations. As he concluded his talk about the uselessness of idols, the men came up and surrounded him. Was this the moment of slaughter? Jonathan felt his knees trembling as the natives drew closer. Then the men explained, wanted to hear what, we wanted to hear what you had to say about idols. What you said was true. We were afraid the people from the neighboring villages might come and harm you. So we came prepared to protect you. That last night, Jonathan called for all those who would like to be baptized to please stand. There were 300 people who joined his baptismal class and were baptized. That night, Jonathan got a first-hand look at how miracles can happen when we are faithful to the gospel. Ever since then, he has obeyed the command to keep on preaching. To learn more about the work at Gospel Outreach or find out how you can support it, check out our website at www dot g o a i m dot o r g or give us a call at 509-525-2951 thank you and god bless